All right, now we're going to make some dice. So create new design. And there is, of course, this, but I don't think that's a very good, and you can use that if you want, but it just, the fact that these corners are so rounded is not something I would want for dice. So I'm just going to go with a regular square. <coughs> and, um, yeah, we'll just leave it 20 by 20, I guess. All right, so let's make some indentations. And I think the strategy that I'm going to employ is I'm going to put fives on all sides and then delete out. You'll see. I'll delete out after as I, as I go. So again, I'm going to put the work plane on this surface. Because if I don't do that, if I change it back the way it was, if I drop the work plane just anywhere over here, go back, then as I drag these out, they land on that work plane. That means I'll have to lift them up. And that's a little bit, um, I don't need to do that. I can set the work plane right here and then these pieces land right on top. So there we go. I'm going to resize this by holding shift, grabbing the corner. And now it's just a matter of figuring out how large I want these to be. And that's another advantage of having the work plane up here is that you can see better how many, you know, pixels in you are. And I think I'll go to into and this is how big is this? Let's click on the corner and see it's five by five. So if I, if I go in two squares from the corner, two and two, and I do that again, if I hold alt when i drag out it'll drag out a new copy so if i do that i think it might look okay let's take a look just dragging out new copies and then if i put one right in the middle hopefully it will be centered uh, unfortunately that doesn't seem to want to center it's right in the middle of what would be the center so that's not good Let's try undo a bunch of times. And then instead of five by five, let's go to four by four. Maybe that will, whoops. Okay, let me delete that one out. This one is four by four, is that right? Okay, and maybe I'll go in three by three. What I'm talking about is I'm three pixels from the corner. And now I will drag out a copy and a copy and a copy and then whoops i don't know what just happened there but um click off and then i'll grab this again and i'm holding alt to drag out a copy there that seems to be by making these four by four if you remember uh, it just happens to center more perfectly i would think that's pretty centered yeah all right so now I'm going to hold shift while I click on each of these and I'm going to make them hollow and I'm going to group them so they're considered like one piece. Then I'm going to embed them into this. Maybe about like so. You can embed it more if you want. I'm going to go with that, I think. And now I hit control D that makes a copy. And I'll drag it over here. And if you hold shift, it will go straight. So, in fact, let's bring it towards us like this. And then I'm just angling it so I can get a hold of this. And the way the rotation works is I just clicked on it. And if you drag it out here, it'll rotate incrementally. But if you drag it in here, it'll do uh, more round numbers like 90 and 45. You can also get that by um, holding shift. But anyways, I'm going to let go. Now right click and rotate so I can see how far out I am. And I think I'll bring it back this way. Now I'll rotate a little bit more and I'll use the down arrow key. Whoops, nope, that doesn't look like it's going to work. Undo.
uh, I guess I need to use this, this arrow. You can also hold control and use the down arrow key. So, especially if you're on a trackpad, that can make it easier. Yeah, so that looks like I'm in the right spot. Now it's just a matter of embedding it enough. So I'm going to right arrow key. I think that's embedded the same amount as the other one. So now, at this point, if I'm lucky, when I hit control D, it'll duplicate it. Since I basically duplicated and then moved it to this side, if I'm lucky, I hit control D. Nope, I was hoping it would put it down there. But actually, here's something we can do. I'm going to hit delete since I don't don't want to keep that duplication. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to hit control D and then uh, I'll use control arrow key. See how it moves it up and down. I'm going to drop it down right through it. So it lines up perfectly and looks like I need to go one more square. Okay. So, and by the way, I can get this work plane back to normal. If you just drag it over here, and now I'm going to do this one too. I'm going to go control D rotate like this and I'll just write. Is it, um, what was I doing? I want to hold control. Okay. Undo control D and then just right arrow key. There we go. And then I'll have to rotate to see where I'm at. There it looks about same as the others. Okay, so now I just need to bring one around. So I guess I'll click on this, control D. Oh, looks like it's um, duplicating in the same manner as I just did. So that's fine. I can bring it over here and then rotate it. Grab this right here, rotate it perfectly 90. And now let's get a side view. Yeah. I guess I'll turn it this way so I can use the left arrow key to get it into position. There you go. Then I'll hit control D. Nope. Looks like it copied it right here. I don't want that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click on this and hit control D. Okay. Then I'm going to angle myself to the side so I can arrow key to the left. And I just need to probably need one more click there. Okay. So now I've got all the sides, <coughs> excuse me. And if you've studied dice, you'll know that opposite sides add up to seven. So if I start with this being, um, you know, I'm going to keep this as a five, then this side should be two. So I'm going to select it and ungroup it then click off so it'll let go. And now I'm going to delete these individual pieces. So I'm left with two. Now let's make this side be four. So I'm going to have to ungroup, click off, select the middle, delete, rotate it around. And this side's going to be a three. So I'll click on it, say ungroup, click off, uh, delete this way. And then what's that five? We got four and three. Need um got five and two. So I need six and one, right? And this is not um I can't just I'm gonna have to do a little work with this. I'll ungroup and then I'll click off and I'll just I think I'll hit control D and then arrow key to the right. And then I'll just arrow key this one to the right. And that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna swing it around this way. And click this, ungroup, click off, delete these, and I've got a one. All right, so now before I group everything, I think I'll remember to click on this and just change the radius. You see this? It's going to change. Oops, got to click on it, I guess. No, I did click on it. Why is it not changing radius? There we go. We don't want to radius it too much. Let's just do like one, hit enter, uh, more like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, slight radius. Okay, so now I'm going to select everything and hit group 
and it should calculate the holes, the little indentations. There we go. All right, so now that that's done, I'll hit Control D and drag out my second one, and maybe I'll rotate it just for looks. Rotate it like so. Place it right there. And I just use the left arrow key. Now, you see it's kind of sticking out through the uh, floor. If you hit D, it'll drop. In this case, it'll raise up to be uh, touching the floor. So there we go. Got some dice. And that is it.